No. Back at you with another one. I am up in Meadville, PA, at a World War II uh, Keystone Ordnance bombing facility, which is now abandoned. But uh, this this was where they kept bombs and manufactured stuff in the World War II era. So I'm here to explore some of the buildings and some of the stuff. There's a lot here. As far as old as this is, there's a lot here. So I'm here to just explore it and check it out. And uh see what we can see what we can see. I'm coming up on some towers now, a couple buildings. Oh, well, I guess the steps ain't the whole ways down. Thought maybe we could thought maybe we could climb the steps. Yep, this was a, again an old World War II bombing facility. Uh, TNT storage and stuff that they, hey, I think I just found a bunker. I think we just found a bunker. So we're gonna walk over here and check out this bunker. If I can bushwhack through these woods, there's an there's another one, and there's an old ruins up here. Yeah, I guess this was like 15,000 acres of just a World War II uh, facility, which is really cool. I don't know what all these, I don't know what all this foundation stuff is here. I'm not sure if this is a bunker over here or not. But there's another one down here. <clears throat> I don't know what they are. Looked like it was. Sorry if the camera's all over the place, but this is kind of. This is kind of rough. Uh, maybe not. It's a old foundation wall or something. I thought it was a bunker. There's supposed to be bunkers up in here. There's a building right here. So I want to work my work my way through here. I believe the thorns and stuff all rip my jacket all up, like it's doing right now. Some more ruins. That thing there is huge. Yeah, that looked like a bunker, huh? In the side of the hill, I thought it was. I got excited there. Some more ruins in there, just the foundation, old foundations. I'm gonna snap some photos. Here's one of the, it's really bright out, so sorry if the phone and the pictures are glared. I, I can't help that. But here's one of the old facilities here. It's the old World War II 
factory, bomb factory. Pretty crazy. Might be able to get in through the other side, but I'm not, I'm not walking under all that stuff. But uh, once I find my way in there, I'll click on. huge bone like Bigfoot size bone <sighs> size of that bone oh this is wow man this is just all filled with bone in here that animal massive over there box that's cool it's in this room that door is jammed shut so, snap some photos here This was another old. Well, oh, that glare looks really bad. Sorry about that. I don't know what this. I don't know what this was. Cool. Pretty cool there. Got some ruins over there, big building over there. Towers, I'm gonna snap some photos, move on. some more 
some more ruins. This looks cool here. Yeah, that sun is blaring me out. I hope the hope it's coming up on the on the camera. Whew. I'm pretty winded walking through all this deep snow. Alright. Oh wow. I don't know if we'll be walking around in there. Floors caved in. Wow. That's bad. That sucks. Again, this is an old World War II bomb facility. This whole area. Buildings scattered throughout the whole place. Little doorway over there. That must go into the next building. I don't know if I want to walk on that though. Oh, well, I'm going to snap some photos and move on to the next one. The next building, which is just right beside us. And then there's another little one over there in the weeds. So this is the inside of the other half. Still can't uh, walk because there is no floor. So. No floor to walk in that. Uh, oh, the, there's the bottom. You can see the ground in that one. Just no floor anywhere in these buildings to walk. In this one anyway. There's just no floor at all. I don't even think there's a way. I don't even think there's another way. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the end of the building and all the floors out of it. Nowhere to walk. There's another little foundation building over here. Yeah, there's bunkers here somewhere. I we where I don't know. Uh, where they would be located but if we come across them we come across them if not there's plenty of other things to be checking out a lot of stuff here I think I counted on the map I think I counted over 50 buildings or 50 buildings oh wow old heater some horse dung or something. Shells. Pretty cool. Oh yeah. Another little. Look at all the horse dung. Like it's even up on a shelf. Look at that in front of the door. Oh, that's a cool light. Pretty cool. That's pretty neat. All right, so snap some photos of this and move on to the big one. The other half this looks like it has a floor at least if we can get in that other side oh wow 
Look at that. I don't know about going down in there, but maybe a basement or a, uh, I don't know what the, I don't see no steps, but there could have been at one time. Oh, wow. World War II vehicle. Something they used here, big trailer. That's cool, I gotta get some photos of that. Another room, building. Again, the floors are so bad. I ain't getting on those floors, walking on them floors. But we're gonna come over here. There's a basement. Maybe we can get in, go down in the basement here and check it out. What's it, what's it look like down in there? Floor is bad up there. Nice, nice room though. Like if you go around the side or steps. Oh, okay. So this is a this is the basement of the building we was just in upstairs. Again, the floor's too bad to walk on it from upstairs, but big cement pillars. That's so cool. Did stuff like this for more War II, man. It's still standing. Unreal. I'd like to find some of the bunkers, but who knows? Again, I think this was like a 15,000 acre area, so it's hard to say where on this on the, on, the, on this land are the bunkers and all the buildings. But we're just gonna check out the ones that I can find and see. So we're gonna venture over to this big one now. All right, so here's one of the bigger buildings. I'm gonna go in right here. Bunch of water tanks there, there, there. There are steps. I'm not sure if we. Huh? Wow. Wow. This is crazy. This building here, I think, I think this is the building they used to do something. Again, this was a bomb facility for in World War II. World War II bomb facility, but I think they did something to do with the coal here too. And those was like, I don't know, you can do your research on this. This is a Keystone uh, Ordnance Works, World War II. Um, up, up near Meadville, PA. But this place is huge. There's one of the water towers. Wonder if I can make it up in steps. <gasps> steps look all right. They look sturdy. This is an old. Oh wow! The old water tank. Dude, you gotta see this. This held water, like massive water tank. 
Unreal. Snap some photos of that on my way back down. Wow, some of the railing's gone. You could go just to that hole. Oh, you're scared of height. All right, I don't know if I'm going to go any higher because the railings are gone. And the steps don't look that great. But that's the inside of the water tank. And then there's another tank over there and then the big towers. Those buildings we was just in. Yeah, I'm not going to go any higher because some of those steps just look rusted and some of these railings are gone. So, plus I don't know how sturdy the top of the tank is. I don't know if I want to be walking on top of it. But I'm going to, I'm going to snap some photos. Yeah, this, this is pretty wild. I don't know what they did there. Maybe, looks like they churned something up or maybe this was the coal. And that looks like shoots and they should, you know, for whatever they did. Oh, here's steps over here. I'm going up these steps. I want to see what's up there. If I if there isn't up there, it might not be there no more. There's a little room over here. Okay. Here's another section. Let's go over here and check out this. Well, some more bones. That's so crazy. I don't think I'm making it up these steps, folks. That's just, that's really bad. So I don't think we'll be making it up to that top room. But here's a, here's the bottom. What was this? What this was all about. That looks like a big tub, some type of a big tub. That's cool. I gotta get a picture. So, going up to the top. Oh, wow. Floor's good. There's some holes in it, but it's a cement floor. There's another landing up there, but I have no clue how you get to that. Something with steps. Steps might have been right there at one time. Yeah. Big hole. Look at the bones down in there. More bones, man. Animal bones everywhere. Cows or some type of major horse, like horses or cows or something, big animals. And a lot of horse or cow crap, just piles of it. 
It's like almost somebody used this for a. Oh my gosh! Look at the size. Look at the, look down there. What we got coming. I don't know what that is. Barrel, some type of thing right there. Look at look at that down there. So. What a freaking view. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna snap some pictures here of the view. This is another, another mass of water, another mass of water tank. There's three of them, it sets here all together. We're trying to get to the top to get a view of the land. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve freaking buildings. This is a massive place. Alright, so here's the landing. I don't know how good the landing is. Look at the look at the line of buildings. Look, we even passed some. They're way over there. Alright, so. We're basically at the top of the water tank right now. The landing seems to be all right. I don't know about this. Like the top's right there, but I feel it getting wobbly and it's not connected up here. We're basically right there's the landing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps up. But yeah, that's what I mean. No, on this side, it's not connected to the pipe anymore. Yeah. So there's a view anyway. made it to the top basically didn't go on to the landing because it wasn't connected but we basically made it to the top of the water tank one water tank very cool views from up there and we discovered more buildings way over the hill here so we're gonna venture over there another tank here remember on the map I showed you all them buildings rows of them that's what they were behind us here. Another tank. Yeah. If I was a little more braver, I would climb that wall. There's no way anyways. Half the ladder's gone. Nope, half the ladder's gone. The whole portion, bottom portion of the ladder's gone. Another big tower. All right, so we're gonna venture back here to these buildings and see what's back here. All right, finally reached the other buildings. Those look like the bomb and the dynamite uh, storage buildings where they stored the bombs of the dynamite or whatever. That's what that looks like. 
probably go into the big building first. Watch that hole. I don't know what that is. Pretty cool though. Still didn't find no bunkers. I'm sure they're hidden pretty good, the bunkers. Yeah, so there's a bunch of these buildings. So I'm thinking that was the, the dynamite storage buildings where they stored the explosives. And then there's this big building here. And all the buildings, there's a row of them, over 20 or so, the whole length of this property. There's a big building and then a little red one. And they're all the same. So I'm gonna snap photos of this and then try to work my way in. And once, once I get in there, I'll turn the camera on. So we found the world's biggest plant pot right there. That's what it looks like. It's obviously not, but I don't know what's down in there. I don't know if you all can see down in there or not. I don't know what's down in there. This is, I don't know what they did in here, but it's really cool. More bones, man. There is bones. I don't get that. There's bones everywhere. Like dead animals, man. Wow, really cool. You see down in there? I put my phone over the top to see if I could. All right, so. Go out this way. Old World War II facility, unreal. All this stuff still standing from back in the World War II era. Unbelievable. That looks crazy up there with all the vines. There was steps, platforms up there where you definitely could walk up there at one time. The steps are gone now. Looks like they started there, but then they just end. So we're gonna go around the back here and there's steps. I'm not gonna go out that way. Ah, jaggers. We're gonna go around the back and go up those metal steps. Yeah, you done take the wrong turn. <laughs> yeah. This must be what do you mean? Oh, the platform's gone, so you can only go up so far, and then there's no flooring to get to the other row of steps. All right, so, well, there's the other buildings. We, this one might be too far gone to get up top, but the other ones we might be able to. So, I'm gonna venture up to this. I think these, I think these little red ones, like I said, ah, uh, I think they was the dynamite storage 
buildings. They just look like it. As long as there's no live dynamite still in there, we'll be okay. I really hope the video is turning out because of the glare of the sun. It's really bright. All right. So. Okay. So here's the bottom. I don't know what this could have been. Just woke up the steps. There's steps right there. We'll go up the steps in a minute. Man, walking around on that deep snow wears you out. Oh wow, more steps right there. I didn't even see them. I don't know what this little building was. But let's uh let's try to get up these steps and see what's up there. Oh yeah, upstairs looks cool. Steps look healthy. So let's give it a go. <clears throat> oh wow, big tank. What's up with this? Wow. This is cool. Yeah, steps are real good. Put that little steering wheel in my car. Wow. Oh, what's this? Big tank, too dark to see down in there. Go up this row. Yeah, I'm not sure if this was a storage now or not. Now that I'm in here and you know. wow, what was that thing? That's cool. That's really cool. I don't know what that could have been. All right, I'm gonna snap some photos in here. So we're in one of the other buildings. This one's not really, the outside looks the same, but the inside, it's just empty. And this is an old trough for animals, horses or cows or something. So I'm thinking maybe this was where they kept back in World War II, where they kept their animals like that they had here. Cause there's really old piles of crap and bones and there's feeders. Like this looks like a place, this building here just looks like where they kept their animals. And you can see it's just... So, this was just basically a shell and looks like a feeding place. But up here is another little red building we're going to head to. Little stone foundations here. It's pretty cool. Yep, gotta find our way over the fence here. So, click on once I get in the building. Here's our 
There's another one. Another one of them buildings. Let's see what it looks like in here. And one more out walking through that snow. Oh wow, yeah, so maybe they are a little different. This one has some weird pillars in it. Huh, a little different than the other ones. Pretty crazy. So I want to snap some photos in here of this one and move on. Uh, yeah, same as the last one with the pillars in it. Okay. So, into another one. Uh, same as the last one. Has these weird pillars. Not sure what that was. Something sat on them at one time. I guess, obviously. But... Pretty much the same they definitely all the buildings look identical from the outside like they're identical buildings just a little different on the inside to each one and then there's another little red one up there another little red building which is probably they they all seem to be the same every one of those that we was in so far was the same so i think i think the little red the little red buildings are definitely all the same but the bigger ones they all they're all pretty much the same on the outside just a little different on the inside and the snow wears you out so we got like three more and then we head on down to the really big buildings that we spotted so once we get there i'll click on now this one is an awesome find look at the old car two old cars those are old military cars Look at the numbers on them. World War II. Freaking military trucks, man. Look at that. World War II military trucks. Look at that. It just left here. Unreal. And look at this one. This one was military too, right there's the M. The emblems are still on the door. I wanna take these home. <laughs> Old Fords, man. That's insane that they just left them here. Really cool. Bones in the back of the truck. Awesome. How cool is this? All right, I'm gonna snap some photos of this. 
of these old military trucks. Unbelievable. These are from World War II, man. Because this is all World War II base. And these are definitely military vehicles. Just left the rock. All right, I got to get some photos of these. Just left the building with the old military trucks in it, which was awesome. I got really excited there. That's so cool. This is another building, which is pretty much uh, there's nothing left inside. Just some fencing. This one's a little different. Nothing in it, but there's fencing and stuff like that some boards those look like old train wheels or something huh wow the coolest thing of this whole trip we both agreed was the military trucks left behind unbelievable I don't know what those are no idea what those are. They look like wheels. Wooded. Wood. But they look like some type of a wheel or something. I don't know. There's another one laying here. And another one there. Alright, so we only have what? Two more, one more building. Do you think that one isn't being utilized? Not that one, but the little one is. The one by the little trailer looking thing, it looks like it is. But this one here, the windows are not smashed out of it. And then when we came, when we got to this building here, she looked up and noticed an old car setting up here. So we're gonna go see if this is an old, what kind of a car this is. And then I'm gonna walk down. Got one more building to look in before we go to the big, the big buildings that we found, that we seen at the beginning of the video when we was on the water tank, the towers. This place is so big. So big. Didn't find any of the bunkers. I'm thinking the bunkers are probably in this thick stuff. Uh, it's hard to say where because bunkers will be hidden not open like these buildings are I would imagine this car this car looks like it might have been a stolen car someone brought it back here and caught it on fire yeah this is probably Somebody stole a car and brought it back here and lit it on fire.
there's no other reason for this car to be back here and to be burnt to nothing left and to look like a sporty car so that's what happened there all right on to the next one We're gonna come in this one, sit down for a little bit, take a rest, drink some water. Perfect little spot out of the wind. There's some more bones. So freak more bones. Every building so far had freaking bones in it. So crazy. Alright, I'm gonna take a rest, drink some water. The roof's caved in in that room there. Can't really go in there. I'll take photos of it though. made it to the other big building that we wanted to check out we're about dead wading through the snow but got a little building over there got a couple down there got one over there and we got this really big one here that I'm gonna go into first Don't look like there's anything left on the inside. Really don't look like anything really left to it. But we're gonna check it out anyway. About killed myself walking through the snow to get here. Oh. All right, so we're in. And this one is another big building, man. Really big building. bunch of hay bales in here and uh I'm gonna check out this little room over here that looks like a loft or something up there but I don't see how we're gonna get into that there's I don't see a way and this was some type of a little room here That's just a little, a little room. And then a big tractor tire in here. Just another room. That's about it. So let's give you a quick glance of this area. And I'm gonna snap some photos. And once I get into the next area, I'll click back on. All right, so we're gonna work our way out of here and over into the other sections that I can see there's the old fuse box or old fuse box there all 
right, so that's cool. Work our work way in here. Wow, there's foundations all through here. Wow, this is crazy. This was. A little room here I want to check out. Oh, yeah. This is cool. Yeah, pretty cool room. this was two little closets this might have been one of the storage places where they stored the dynamite who knows yeah that's just a little little closet Walking through. I want to try to find some research on this place of when, it, if there is any on the internet, of when it was up and running. I'd like to see some photos and stuff or something was up and running poison ivy everywhere all right so we're at the other end of this building <clears throat> this looks like if I can fit through this. Ah, made it. Oh, wow. This is pretty neat. More animal bones. So this, this looks like, I'm telling you, this looks like animal, like they kept animals in these buildings. Some, some of these buildings. what all that stuff is shelf all right so do a little windows or something that's it we're at the end of this look at that back here wow we definitely ain't getting in that building because it's just totally destroyed. Totally destroyed, but we'll venture over to it. I think I'm gonna have to put my, my puff jacket on pretty soon again. It's starting to get cold walking through the snow. I broke out in a little bit of a sweat. Now I'm cold, which is not good. Wow. I don't know what this was, but the, the big, the massiveness of this stuff, it, the, the video doesn't even do it justice. At all. Wow. Insane. Definitely can't get in this place. There's nowhere to get into it at. It's just all collapsed, but I can get a little video underneath. 
looks like. There's where the old steps was. There's no way I'm going in there walking around. You know how many thousands of pounds, even tons of weight is up there. There were steps. No way, no way I'm going in there walking around though. And off with all that weight above, they can come down at any time. I want to snap some photos. the other end of that power rubble steps are still intact on this end still kind of crazy big tanks this floor looks a little icy definitely ain't going, definitely not going up them steps Steps look pretty bad. There ain't no upstairs to stand on anyway. Wow. There's just some big tanks. That's a lot of weight right there. Yeah, there was probably three levels of this. That's what I mean. I wish it was still standing and in and intact. All right, want to snap some photos. More animal, more bones, man. That's insane. Bones everywhere. This might have been where they, this looks like a bomb shelter, like where they stored dynamite and stuff. This might be one of the places. Damn. Yep, unreal. I don't understand the, the, the animal crap and the uh, like horse or cow manure and bones everywhere. Yeah. That's either a horse or a cow. Uh, all right, so we're going to get down to here to this next building. That looks like the same kind of a building that we was just in. Walk away. Going 
this door. Wow, this is like all sand or something in here. Pretty wild. You see him? You want to step in here? building. Little shed or garage or something right there. Some buildings back here. We're going to figure out how to get in that one behind me. Was we in that big one right here? Yeah, we was in that one. And there's those two little things in a garage over there. Go over here and check out the garage. Yeah, I'm sure they would know. I think it was down where I said. M168, it has painted on the garage. <clears throat> this is it. So we found a way in. Had to do some bushwhacking. But found a way in. Old window. No, old windows and just a bunch of stuff here. What's this? A shower? Oh, here's a little room here. This is just all windows. Like windows where they stored yeah right all right so that's that little room go into the next one if we can might be might be locked this one or something up against this one something fell up against that one can't get in it
another door there. Pretty wild, man. And how they're all just separate rooms. Yeah. Like... Again, I mean, storage. This is this is all it could have been. There's nothing in here. Dynamite storage buildings. It's hard to say which one it makes, makes sense. It would be something like this, though. Yeah, that, yeah, that opens. All right, and one more door if we can get into it. I bet you these buildings over here where we're at right now was something to do with storage. There's nothing in here. So had to have been. Looks like little coal burners or something. Wood burners. That's pretty wild. Can't, yeah, that's not opening. I bet you those was old wood burners. Those are like little wood burners or something. That's cool, I like to have one of them. Bunch of them. All right, so that's it for this building. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that little adventure. Again, that was the Keystone Ordnance Works, the World War II uh, bomb facility where they stored TNT and did a bunch of stuff here. Massive, massive place. So much to explore. Uh, so worth the trip to uh, come and come and see it <clears throat> there was so much I didn't unfortunately we didn't come across any of the bunkers but uh, maybe in the spring or in the summer come back without all this deep snow and I'll be able to find those but um, it was definitely really really cool definitely I could explore so I hope you like the video uh, if you like it hit the like button uh, leave a comment and uh, subscribe if you haven't already I got a lot more videos of different places coming but uh, this is one of the this is one of the coolest places I've been to so far really really cool so uh, that pretty much wraps it up on this one. I can't wait to get to the car. I'm wore out. But uh, that's it. That wraps it up for this one. And I'll catch you on the next one.